So hello again YouTube, my name is Hans and welcome to my channel and to this episode of Darktable Insights. Darktable is one of the best free tools for organizing and editing your photos. There are two ways of storing settings for reuse in Darktable. Presets and styles. In short, presets are settings you can store in each module. They only contain settings from that one module. A style on the other hand can be a complete edit or part of an edit. So let's dive in and take a closer look. First, let's look at styles. Styles can be cre created from a history stack. They can also be saved as files that can be stored separately or shared online. This means you can also download styles that others have made and use them on your own images. I'll link to a couple of good sources in the description. So how do you create and apply a style? First, in Darkroom View, open the History module on the left-hand side and then click this lid icon in the lower right corner. This brings up the Create New Style dialog. Here we see a list of modules we have used that can be included in our style. Now we can tick the box for every module we want to include. So I uh, tick the box for every module that's on. For example, like this, take away the vignetting. Then we can give the style a name in the upper text field, like we call it Lush Forest, and then there's a new, another then there's another text field where we can have a description. And then you just click save to save the style. Now notice that you can find the same icon below your image as long as your film strip is visible. Click the icon and you get a list of all your styles. We don't have many here, just two. The one we made just the one we just made, and another one that I made earlier. Then you just click the style you want and it's added to your current history stack. So say we pull up an unedited image like this one. Then we can take our Lush Forest style and apply it to this image. Uh, well, well. Not the most suitable one. Anyway, if we now switch to Light Table View and look at the right hand side, we find the Styles module. Here we can manage our styles further. Select one or more images and double click a style to apply it. And select these two and we can double click our style. And the uh, thumbnails get updated. If you want to create a duplicate, duplicate of the image before applying a style, you can do that too. Select this one, just then just tick this box, create duplicate, and we can apply a style. So now this one has the style and this one is untouched. You can also select an image and click create to create a new style from the history stack of this image. This time all of the boxes are ticked, so untick any modules you don't want to include. Just click untick a couple of those. Then we can give the style a name. And you can give it a description here if you like. And then hit save. You can select the style 
and click edit if you want to change a style. Here you can change the name and description. And you can also exclude exclude modules and if there are modules that are not active they'll uh, pop up below and you can include them and if you want to keep the old style and create a new one based on it you can click on duplicate style and then you can save so now you have a new one here you can also select the style and click delete to delete the style you cannot use the delete key on your keyboard because this will delete the selected image instead if you have downloaded a style you can import it by clicking on import then just navigate to where you have it have downloaded it and select it and click open then we have the new style in our list and if you want to export a style just select the style click export navigate to wherever like the desktop and then hit save and then a file with the name of the style with a .dt style ending is created now let's take a look at presets most modules in darkroom, darkroom view and a few in light table have this little icon of three horizontal lines in the header. This is the preset menu. So click on it and you get all your presets. You can also right click on the header of a module and you have the presets there. Some modules already have a collection of presets, others don't. To apply a preset, simply click the name in the list. Like here in the tone curve module, we can, for example, apply the high contrast preset. To make your own presets, just do what you want in the module. Like, for example, this. Then click the icon, store new preset, and give it a name. And a description if you like. And then you can click OK. Below the text fields there are two options. Auto apply the preset to, make, to matching images and only show this preset for matching images. If you tick either one of these boxes you get the opportunity to set conditions for when the preset will be automatically applied or shown in the list. You can set your camera model, brand and lens, and also a range of ISO, shutter speed, aperture and focal length. When you have an active preset, the name of it appears in bold text in the menu. The presets you make yourself can be edited or deleted. The things that can be edited are the name and description and the options for auto-applying. Just hit edit this preset and you can change the name and these other things. If you change the settings of the module, like this, you get the op option to update the last selected preset. So you can update preset my preset. Finally, at the bottom of the menu, there's a checkbox where you can mark the module as a favorite to include it in the favorite groups. So my tone curve is already in the favorite groups. We have it here. All right. And uh, when the film strip when the film strip is visible, you also have a preset menu below the image area here. This gives you quick access to all the presets available in the modules in the favorite group. So here are all, all the presets in all the modules that, that I already that I have in the uh, favorites group. Finally, there is one place where you can manage all your presets. Go to Light Table View, 
and click the cogwheel to get into Darktable's preferences and then click on the presets tab. Here you have a list of all your modules. These can be expanded by clicking on the little triangle and then you can see all the presets for that module. Those with the lock are the predefined ones. They can't be changed. Double click one of your own presets and you get this dialog that we have seen before. So here you can change things regarding your preset. So that more or less rounds it up. Now it's time for me to celebrate Christmas and I'll see you all again in 2019. Goodbye and a Merry Christmas! Thank <music> you.